Okay, guys, we're back for video number three of our Sweet Talk stamp class for January. Wait just a minute for it to show up in some news feeds, let you guys hop on. So once we finish with our fourth project, our second card, then we will also do um, this or that. Jan is back. Thank you. Okay, as you hop on, if you'll just say hello, let me know if the sound is okay, video running okay. We are having um, technical issues this morning, but we are working through it. And LaDonna's back. Hello again. I think this wind, I don't know um, how high the wind is blowing, like how many miles per hour, but it, in this old house that we live in, it sounds horrible out there. <clears throat> Lisa's back. Welcome back, everybody. Sherry's back. So hopefully everyone will have everything they need in their kit this time. If not, just let me know. Okay, thank you. Joanne's back. Got a good group back. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this last project. And then, like I said, we're going to play this or that, which has always been a lot of fun in the past. Um, and I think it's going to be fun this time, too, with some super cute products. Okay, so this is our final project in our stamp class. And this is a very simple fancy fold or fun fold and it has a belly band so this is just a three quarter inch by 11 piece of real red cardstock that we just fold around the card but isn't this fun you guys just a super cute way to show off a couple of designer series papers you could certainly add some other decoration there if you wanted to but I thought this just turned out really cute quick and simple with the little belly band too so featuring is that showing? Will you pull that back up, please, Dee? I had to plug my phone in. Thank okay. you. Um, so, featuring the hearts, the scalloped, and then the regular heart using these heart punches. And I know many of you have these still from last year, so don't forget to pull those out and um, use those with these new products. Okay. So we will go ahead and pull out supplies. Now this time you don't have a bunch of little pieces. They're all good sized pieces. You do have some of the iridescent rhinestones though, so that you can embellish at the end. Do you see that stamp set though? Yes. Um, I was gonna show too. There's lots of heart images. I probably haven't really done the stamp set justice with this class. I typically like to use more stamps but many of these would be really, really cute stamped on your envelope or on the inside of your card. So don't forget that you've got lots of different images, little hearts that you could use if you want to do some stamping. So this is just an 11 inch by four and a quarter um, card base. It's out of petal pink. And then I cut off, I want to say an inch and a quarter. Um, LaDonna, yours may have an inch and a half cut off, but it's still going to work just fine. Okay, so we'll burnish on the score line, which is five and a half. Then I think we'll do the inside portion first. So this little piece of designer series paper, I'm just going to adhere to the edge. Now, if you like that other side better, you could certainly use that, whatever you want to do. I think you um, really can't go wrong with this paper. It's just really, really cute. So I'm seeing lots of cards with belly bands lately. You know how things kind of um, go in cycles. And it seems like belly bands are making a comeback on cards. And they're really easy to do with either cardstock or designer series paper. So that's just a little four inch, by I think about an inch and a quarter. Is that what we cut? Inch and a half. Inch and a half piece of designer series paper. We're going to go ahead now and adhere this inside panel. Okay. 
So we have both Blushing Bride and Petal Pink in this Designer Series paper. Get that kind of lined up there. I think that's pretty good, and I'll burnish that one more time since I've been working with it. And then we have a four by four inch piece of Designer Series paper for the front. I think this is probably one of my favorite patterns. I do really like these stripes as well. And don't forget that you have Granny Apple Green in with this paper too. That's kind of interesting in a Valentine paper, isn't it? A little bit unexpected. Just get this centered on the front here. I hope I didn't cut what on us at an inch and a half. If I did, then her designer series paper may be off. I think it was Sherry that said she was a hot mess dumpster fire. I have been a hot mess dumpster fire today, so sorry about that, y'all. Best laid plans, right? But we just roll with the punches. We make it work. Okay. Um, where are my hearts? Did I not they're, get that? They're, they're on the other card. No. Oh. <laughs> There we go. So let me go ahead and do my stamping next. And I'm using again that sentiment that says, glad to have you in my life. Let me get my piercing mat just so that I get a good impression with this uh, photopolymer stamp. Make sure I'm not stamping it upside down. That's it? Okay. And don't forget that even though our photopolymer stamps get stained from like this deep red ink, it's okay. It doesn't affect the stamp at all. That's cute. Just be sure to clean them well. I just usually use my chamois. You can also use the Stampin' Scrub and the Stampin' Mist. If you use baby wipes or something like that, just be careful to get all the little fibers off so that you don't mess up um, an image the next time you use the stamp. Okay, I'm gonna go back and look. I just adhered that down with my liquid glue, those two layers, but you could certainly pop them up if you wanted to, and that's a great idea. I just adhered it down onto my scalloped heart. I've forgotten how much I love these hearts and how cute they are. To get what I can see. There we go. I think that's better. We used these punches a lot last year. Okay, so for the belly band, all I did, because the 11 inches is not quite long enough for it to meet, but we can still make it work. So I just took it and lined it up with the edge of the cardstock front, and I just folded it around to create the belly band. Now yours are already folded. I went ahead and did that because it made it much easier to put them in your kits and to ship. So that's why yours are done, but that's how I did it. And then I just took a dimensional and I put it on each end of the belly band. And I'm going to add the heart. So by pulling it around like that, you don't want it super, super tight. You want to be able to remove it and put it back on. So I'm just kind of um, eyeballing this as far as where I want my heart. So you can use the tip of your heart and the center of your heart. Try to get it lined up. Let me see how that looks. Pretty good. Okay, so now we're able to pull that belly band up and down, take it off and put it back on because it's not too tight. And we're showing off that designer series paper. Okay, now you want to grab your iridescent rhinestones. Who else loves these 
embellishment. This is truly my favorite. Anybody else love them? And we're just going to add, I don't know if those are the large ones. These they might, are. They are. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just put three on there just as a little accent, a little bit of sparkle. But you can put them however you would like them. Jan said she loves them. Or she, she says, I do too. Yes, they're awesome. So sparkly. And uh, Lisa says, I just love these things. <laughs> love I think the bling, oh, excuse me, the bling. The bling, the, yes, I love bling too. Y'all know I always say, shiny. ooh, that is wonky wonky. Shiny is my favorite color. And these are just so sparkly. They've really done a good job with embellishments in the last couple of catalogs, I think. What do you think, Bill? Does that need to be adjusted? <clears throat> Let Bill take a look at it. I'll show you the one that's already adjusted. But they're just so sparkly. They make me happy. But that's how quick and easy a sweet little Valentine card can be. And because they're iridescent, you can put them on almost anything. You really can. And that's what I love. It still looks wonky, but that's okay. I love that it picks up the color of, um, you know, the colors around them when you use them. So it kind of makes it almost look like a little bit different embellishment. You could certainly add color to them with Stampin' Blends. We haven't tried that yet, but... That's something that I think would be fun. So speaking of Stampin' Blends, you may have seen that Stampin' Up! is coming out with some natural tone Stampin' Blends. So if you love our alcohol markers, be on the lookout for customers. Those will be available, I think it's the 2nd of February. Um, so really cool that they're coming out with this, like kind of skin tone, basically, those natural blends. And then I also want to let you know that today is the last day to sign up for Stampin' Bingo. So I know several of you that have been watching this morning are already registered, so thank you. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to use the Rainbows of Happiness Suite, and so today is the deadline. So if you want to play bingo with us on the 29th at 6.30 p.m., be sure and message me, okay? All right, let's do some this or that. Definitely let me know if you have any questions about stamp class today. Would you grab the supplies for this or that, please? Um, I did go ahead and post the measurements and score lines for you for that second treat holder, the Highland Heather treat holder. But if you have any questions, need any help with anything, just reach out to me. We're bringing over supplies for this or that. So, we'll get started with that here in just a second. So, get ready to vote. If you have not done this or that with us before, basically, you're going to be voting on the supplies that we use for the project. So, we're going to have a bonus project for stamp class, and you get to vote. Joanne wants to know how to order the pens. The pens? The, 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 the markers. The markers. Um, for demonstrators right now, I can send you the item code, Joanne. For demonstrators, they're on pre-order, um, so that's a great point. So if you are not a demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on those blends now, you can join Stampin' Up! and um, I can help you with that as well. We'd love to have you on our team. You could add those to your starter kit. If you are a demonstrator, you are able to order them early. And Joanne, I will, I'll post the item code for you and I'll send it to you. But yes, you can get them now. Okay, first thing you're going to vote for is our card base. So would you like a real red card base or would you like a Highland Heather card base? And while you guys are voting, I'm going to go ahead and fold these card bases on their score lines and I'm going to add a basic white panel to the inside. So would you like real red or would you like, oh, that's not a card base. I thought I cut that one. Boy, I am messing up today. <clears throat> it's 
or one already cut. Wow. So real red. I don't see one already cut. Okay, well we'll talk about cutting card bases right quick. What I love to do, because I do make so many cards, I never make just one. So I like to score it for just this traditional fold at four and a quarter, score first. And then I come up and I cut at five and a half. And that gives me two card bases. When I first started stamping, I would cut and then score. And so I was kind of wasting a step or making an extra step. We have um, three reds and two Holland Heathers. Okay, wow. So how many people do we have voting? Can you tell? Uh, I see five right now. Okay, well, it sounds like the red is in the lead, doesn't it? Uh, Mary joined us but has not voted. So okay. She... Okay, well, sounds like it's red. So the next thing you're going to be voting for is the designer series paper. So would you like this pink? It's just almost like a little watercolor wash, isn't it? Just a little bit of pink. Or would you like the stripe that has the several different colors in this designer series paper? So even the granny apple green. Oh, Sherry says she voted red, so we're, we're definitely red. We're red? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and still put those inside panels. Because y'all know the drill. Y'all know what's going on behind the scenes, right? Okay, so we've got this red one, and that's what we'll be using. So let us know, would you like the stripe? Or would you like the more muted, the pink background of designer series paper? Um, two stripes, two, well, no. Stripe, 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 stripe. Everybody's going with stripe? I got three, four stripes, and five stripes, and two pinks. So. Okay. Well, it looks like stripe is going to be our winner. So let me get these supplies out of the way then. Okay, so we're going to orient the card this way. And when I, I will add the stripes. Okay, so is this my option, Dale? This is the option? Yes. Okay, so your next vote is going to be, do you want to use some pink and red hearts? Are there five for there's each one, card or four? There's, there's four and purple. There's a, that's, that's one option. The purple goes with the pink. Mm, okay. And then. Hmm. Guess who cut my hearts for me, y'all? Okay, so the next option is do we want to do. Um, do we want to do the pink, red, and purple? Or do we want to do yellow, blue, and green what would you like to see which hearts would you like to add so i'm going to go ahead and add our striped piece now this piece is um five inches by three and three quarters and it actually was a, a kind of a scrap it was just in the bag of designer series paper and we pulled it out I don't think that is three and three quarters, actually. Pink, red, and purple is pulling ahead. Away. Yeah, it's okay. Just away with it. Okay, so this is a wonky cut. So I wanted it to be um, five by three and three quarters. It looks like it's five by four. It'll work. Gives a little bit bigger border on either side. But you know, today we're just going with it. <laughs> we're just going with it, y'all. So I want to tell you about a little trick that I just learned. Um, Sometimes when you cut your paper, you get kind of, what would you call it, like a ridge on yes. the back side. And for some reason, when I cut um, recently, and, and I just had a new blade, it was cutting a little bit different, and it left a ridge on the back. Take your bone folder and run across that, and that will smooth that out. So you can do that with your cardstock. You can do it with your DSP as well. So we're, I'm using these. Is that no, correct? No, you're using, let me have those. These? Yeah, I okay, those. so I'm using pink and purple and red. Yes. Okay, so I need some dimensionals. 
And then the last thing that they're going to vote on is my ink colors, right? Right. Okay, so well, would... You got, you got three on this one. Okay. Would you like your sentiment, which is going to say, Happy Valentine's Day, would you like it in Granny Apple Green? Would you like it in Highland Heather? Or would you like it in Real Red? So those are your options for ink colors. As I add our hearts. So I'm going to use dimensionals on these. And I watched a demonstration, you know, we do um, demonstrator events. It's called On Stage that Stampin' Up! hosts back in November. And my friend um, and fellow demonstrator, Robin Carden, showed this cute little layout. So give her credit um, for this idea. And it's really cute. And you could cut these hearts from any color of cardstock, you could cut them um, uh, from designer series paper. Just so fun. One green, three red, so far. Okay. So she actually took her hearts and 